Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for December 2023. It is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, which you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. Then we're going to take a look at you and your person or whoever's on your mind. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on for you. All right, so your overall energy we have, we have the Queen of Pentacles. It's interesting because it, it almost doesn't feel like it's your energy specifically. It just feels like overall things are starting to balance out. Um, your focus this month could be on finances and stabilizing your finances, taking another look at things, where they stand and how you want to start this new year. Um, it does feel like really good though. So there could also be an increase in finances that come up. It doesn't normally come up with this card. But it just feels overall like December is going to be a month where your primary focus is going to be on your stability and in your finances. All right, so let's look at your current. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Swords. Okay, so some of you, Wheel of Fortune. Um, with the Eight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse, you could be feeling like things around love have been a little bit sideways. And it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. Some of you may feel like you haven't had enough time for yourself. Even if you're not in a relationship, sometimes we don't have the ability emotionally because we're tied up in our head about so many other things to focus on ourselves. Um, for some of you, you may not have had the time to invest in either a partner or looking into love. And some of you, it could just be that you've had some bad luck in dating and you're kind of curious as to what stage you're in and why things haven't been working out. Um, that's going to change. Next year is going to be a big year. So uh, just know that that's what I'm saying about that. That's going to shift um, for those of you that have felt like things have been somewhat imbalanced. Let's keep going and see what the near future. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Wands. And then the Nine of Swords. I, I feel like this is saying don't put too much pressure on yourself if... For some reason, you haven't felt really inspired. There's a need for some rest. I, I say inspired, meaning you're not taking a lot of action towards investing in relationships or investing in that area of your life. That's okay. Some of you, you may be. But for those of you listening, if it's felt a little heavy lately and you just haven't had that driver push or you felt like a little discouraged because you just hadn't met the right person or there's been difficulty within a relationship and you're still feeling a little bit stuck around it. I think right now it's just a period of time where you need some rest. And I think you're going to stop stressing about that. And it's allowing yourself to just say, it's okay. I don't have to necessarily do something. This is where your faith in the universe comes into play as well. And trusting that if something's meant for you, it's going to show up. Okay, let's see what you don't see coming because that could surprise us. Seven of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Cups and then the Ten of Wands. All right, there's a couple different things. Um, first of all, if you don't trust people outside of yourself because you've invested so much in the past, it makes sense because here I think you're having to close out some of the old hurts and pains first before you move forward. If you haven't met the right person or you've had difficulty in relationships and felt betrayed quite a bit and it stressed you out, this just tells me that that's not the type of energy you're going to be attracting in the future. So the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Cups is taking the time to take a step back and go, you know what? I could take responsibility for whatever part I played, but I've also come across a lot of people like this and I'm just done. I'm done. Maybe you're done seeking and realizing that taking a step back is the best thing you can do and allowing things to just kind of happen naturally. That could be why your focus is primarily on work and money this month as well. Um, for those of you in a healthy relationship, that may not apply. Um, there could be other things that you seem to be working on. It's your trust in other people and the relationships in your life in general. So that may play a part as well. It just feels like 
you're going to be focusing more on you. So sometimes we have to do that. We have to pull back from all the other external energies and just focus on ourselves and the things that are most important to us at that very moment. Let's see if there's a challenge for you. Okay, the challenge is the Ten of Wands. So a lot of Wands energy. If you've been lackluster or tired here in the near future, I keep wanting to say you're going to be getting better sleep or more sleep if you haven't been. And this Ten of Wands, like feeling like you're carrying this weight, the challenge for you is, is it ever going to be over? And yes, things are going to ease up. Let's get some clarifiers and see what that's going to look like. Because this tells me that even though it's a challenge that you've been carrying a lot of weight or a lot of stuff has been on your mind, that you're almost at the end of it, which is a good thing. You're about to put that heavy burden down. All right. So the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands. That's that light at the end of the tunnel. So if the burden has been something financially for you or just it doesn't mean that you're not in a great place. A lot of people are struggling right now financially, and that's the majority of the population, depending on where you live. And I think that's anywhere really right now. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So there's going to be a pathway shown to you. So if your focus is going to be here, follow that guidance. It's going to be important because you're about to put this burden down. This is a good sign that you have something to look forward to. Some new path is going to be opening up. Seven of Pentacles, you don't have to wait any longer. You've waited and waited and waited for things to adjust or seem better or seem like you can actually get ahead of things. And that's what I feel like you're headed towards. Queen of Cups. Once you do this, I think it's going to be important that, again, you turn the focus inward. Because the Queen of Cups is, in reverse, a lack of you focusing on nurturing yourself. Especially if you've put too much attention on other people and other situations in your life right now. They're saying you're not going to have to wait long. This is going to break open. So you're going to have more time, energy, and finances to do things that you want to do. And if that, again, has been creating a sense of feeling stuck, like you can't because things are so expensive or it's just been tough to really get progress in work or um, figure out another way that you can supplement income, because for some of you, you may be looking for that option. Um, something's going to break open and a new path is going to be shown to you. So get ready for that because December could be a big shift where you finally feel like, oh, that's the direction I need to go. Okay, so the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Swords, we have the Emperor. Yes, yeah, so there's a feeling of not having control of things um, and regaining a sense of control over it. All right, so with that Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, there's the King of Pentacles, which is exactly what you needed. So from this energy, you're going to regain control. Now, this could also be another person in your life. It could be a partner in business, um, a masculine energy, because I do feel masculine. Normally, I wouldn't assign gender. But in this case, it feels like somebody around you that's very stable, um, that could either help or is going to show kindness maybe helps you through things. Maybe somebody's going to help with, um, I just heard a loan. Somebody may give you a loan if you're seeking a loan for any reason, but it does feel like things are going to be good and you're going to have support in your financial. And it could also be an advisor, somebody that helps you make decisions. Now, for those of you that are in couple situations, if there has been stress around your finances, in a duo, meaning you're either married, you're together and living together. It seems as though the two of you get on the same page and your finances start to get better as well. And you really have more open and honest conversations about what's been happening because that's a perfect pair. Not that anybody's ever perfect, but in this case, two people getting on the same page because at some point things may have seemed to get a little sideways. All right, let's keep going. The Eight of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Wands. Okay, the lovers. So if there hadn't been a lot of communication or you hadn't been able to connect, that's what I feel like is going to happen. Um, if there are problems financially, that can create a problem with intimacy. And some of you, that may have been it. For those of you that are single, this could be, like I said, not pushing anything or feeling like you have to go and do anything. This is just an energy that's going to be attracting to you because you're not focused on it. Because you go from the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords in reverse, which is a good sign. You go from being stuck into an energy of not stressing about it, getting some rest, taking care of yourself. 
and just letting go and let that person that's meant for you sh to show up in your life. So for those of you looking, this could be something that shows up in the month of December. You could have one of those happenstance meetings with somebody new. All right, let's keep going with the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Swords. In reverse, we have the High Priestess. Okay, so that's trusting. This is your intuition. It'll be heightened. Um, you may be a little bit more, I'm going to keep switching between singles and couples. You could have a little bit more of a connection and understand things a little bit better with your partner. There could be a coming to Jesus moment where the two of you intuitively just finally connect. And then for others of you, this is going to be, you're going to know when you meet this person that they are meant for you. You're going to know instantly because of all the other experiences you've already had that you were fed up with. This is going to be like, okay, this feels different. I like this. I'm comfortable with it. I'm not going to stress over it. I'm going to let things flow. I like that energy a lot. Okay, so let's go to what you don't see coming. And you know what I forgot to do? I'm going to pull that out. Because what Spirit wants you to focus on, let me take a step back before I finish clarifying that. Because what Spirit wants you to focus on, we have the hangman. Typically, I would have used this, but that's your challenge. The hangman's um, in the upright, and then we have the magician and the hermit in reverse. Okay, so what Spirit wants you to focus on is allowing your manifestations to come. Yes, with the hangman, you're being enlightened about things, but the magician, sorry, everything's kind of messed up. With the magician in reverse and the hermit in reverse, you're coming out of a place of reflection. The hangman is telling me that you're getting the knowledge that you need. So you're going to start seeing things that you had been hoping for, wishing for, manifesting, coming to. But letting go of the burden of when they're going to happen is super important. So they want you to focus on just paying attention to your like what's going on around you and learning and also allowing. I hope that makes sense. All right, so let's get back to clarifying the Seven of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Four of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry, the Four of Pentacles. So there's something here that you probably were holding on to quite tightly. It could have been that you were in a fear place of your money. Obviously, if you're working on that this month and it's important, that could be it. Um, this is also connected to people that may have been difficult. I don't like to use the word. It starts with A, B, abusive. If that is the case and you've had some relationships that were like that and they're contentious, then I think you're going to be done. Like there's a sense of I'm not going to allow these people to betray me. If it doesn't bring me a lot of joy, I'm not going to hold on to it. But there's times in which I think you question whether you should stay in things. It doesn't feel romantic in, in connection. It feels more like other people in your life. I know the thing, you know, very few people really deserve each of our attention individually and if someone doesn't deserve it anymore and you've tried to hold on to the bitter end something will happen where you're finally just like I'm done so something could pop up in your awareness and this is what you don't see coming is that you're finally going to be done with something you've been holding on to could be an old belief system as well let's keep going and then we have judgment yeah there's this to me is like that's it there's been a decision made um I have to make a choice like you can't ignore your intuition with something you understand that this is where you're you're trying to go. This is what you're trying to achieve. And if there's anyone who tries to get in the way, people that aren't honest or things that haven't been going well and you've held on to the idea that something could maybe move forward, whether it's in business or friendship, Spirit's like, no, there's something not right about this. And I think you know that and that choice is going to be made. So you may have up until this point let things slide. You won't in December. The Hanged Man and Magician in Reverse, the world in reverse. So right now it feels like this cycle hasn't quite come to an end. But it is because you're right at the precipice of this change. So the Ten of Wands is telling me, even though it's a challenge because you're carrying a lot of weight, that this cycle is just about there. Just pay attention because it's almost there. The Magician with the Hermit in Reverse and then it's in the Upright. See, what you're doing is exposing things. Sorry, there's a trash truck confirmation. You're exposing people that aren't the right people for you, that don't have good intentions for you. And it's not fun. It's never fun to finally have to 
make a choice about excluding, you know, pushing people out of our lives. The other thing about this, this card in this deck, it's a little different from the other hermit card, is this is you shedding an old skin. Remember I said it could be belief systems that you're releasing, something connected to, you know, what's been holding you back. I don't think anybody's ever really blocked. I just think we have to have the awareness of what's been happening and then we start to shed old versions of ourselves. So that's the other thing that feels like is happening. So you're still shedding um, and completing a cycle where you're getting rid of things that have not been good for you. And I say things, people, situations. So let's look at this burden that you've been carrying the challenge, the six of swords. So for you, the challenge is thinking that anything could get better that you're ever going to have some kind of relief and I do believe this is going to be the beginning of that relief this month is going to start into it then we get into January when Pluto shifts and then as you see the year progress um, it's going to be significantly different you guys are in the north and south node Libra and Aries so a lot's going to happen for you over the next 18 months you could see how you're going to start seeing how things are going to start clearing up your finances will get better you're going to probably be better in your relationships or in a new relationship. And a lot of these burdens that you've been carrying for some time are going to lighten up quite a bit. All right, so that's your main reading. Let's go ahead and look at you and your person or the person on your mind. Some of the similar, same messages could come out, so it may be similar to some of the things I said here, but let's see. All right, so your person's energy, we have the Page of Cups. Uh, I feel an apology from somebody. This is someone who's, uh, hold on, I wanna, okay. So somebody feels like they need to apologize. It's a small apology, but they do want to start over. They want something new and fresh. A new opportunity is what the Page of Pentacles is. And it's like an offer of just, let's start fresh. I'm going to have a little less expectation, but I really do want to say I'm sorry and start fresh. So if you're in a coupled situation and you've been struggling a bit, I feel like your person's ready. Um, I don't think they know how to approach you. Two of swords. It's like they can't see exactly how things are going to turn out, which might scare them a bit, but they definitely want to make things better. If this is somebody from your past, you may find that they come back around. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It can be energy. So if this is just someone on your mind... They may be conflicted about how to approach you. And your energy is the Eight of Wands with the Chariot. So you may be open to communication. You definitely gave of yourself quite a bit to this. Um, communication is there, but the moving forward aspect, mm, some part of you may not be, if you are willing to be open to this, the communication feels open. That I don't think you have a problem with. I think you're cautious with how you open up and how you uh, connect and whether you're willing to take this forward or not. Some of you may not. Some of you may say, nope, I'm going in a different direction. I don't feel the same way. Um, others of you in partnerships, you may just, you know, still be a little disconnected. Your intimacy may not be the same, not physically, meaning you're not connecting or feeling like you're connecting on that level. That takes me back to the main reading where these two people are working through things. And it could have been fights about money. And then that disconnects people from each other. So you may take this kind of slow. And if this person hasn't approached you yet because they're not quite sure how to, um, but I think you'll have a conversation for sure. Let's keep going. All right, what do we have with the romance? Angels. All right, so see, and I don't like to say somebody's past is coming back, but for some of you, reconciliation doesn't mean that somebody has left your life completely. It could be that they have and they're trying to come back. That's what I felt. And it could just be reconciling within a relationship as well. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Uh, for some of you, this is just getting out and being playful and open like your normal self. And for others of you, this could be within the relationship is finding something that's kind of like, I don't want to call it comic relief, but it's kind of like that. It's like try to find 
connection through the things that you used to really enjoy about each other. And then getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. If you've already been connected for a long time, e even still, I don't care if people have been together 20 years, sometimes you're having to re-get to know each other. For others of you, the same thing if this is somebody from your past. And if you're not interested in the past, I understand that. You could just be open to getting to know somebody new because your playful energy is there. Let your friends help you ask for and accept help from others. Be careful with that. I, I don't know that I love that card. Yes, it's good to have people there to support you, but it, ultimately everything is your decision. So be cautious with other people's projections about what you choose to do. It's great to have them there to support you and listen, but I don't know that taking other people's advice is always the greatest thing to do. All right, let's see um, what advice Spirit has for you. This is for Libra. So we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Some of you could be, um, I, I want to say the advice is get out of your house. I don't know why I, I needed to say that. If you are just focused on work and the everyday, this might be a need because the four of wands is just everything's happy at home, things are good, or you may need to break out of your norm and get yourself out a little bit more. There's the world card for you. And that's what's going to help change things. If you felt a little stuck or like things are monotonous, getting out and changing up your environment here and there is going to be good. So the 21st could be important. The Page of Swords in reverse. Stop looking at what everybody else is doing and go do it yourself. <laughs> I don't know why they're saying that, but they are. Three of Cups. Get together with your friends. This is um, just go do something fun with your friends and forget about all the responsibility. It's all going to be there. It's all going to be there. If you've been feeling really stressed I think it's easing. I keep wanting to say you're right there at the precipice of releasing a lot of weight. Not that things aren't going to get taken care of because they will. They'll work themselves out. But I I feel like stressing yourself out about it right now is not the best way to go. So if you have the ability to take some time and go spend it with some people you really care about, this month is going to be the time to do that. Okay. Or even with just your partner, go out and do something silly and fun. Let's see what we have from the lover's oracle here. Okay, so we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be, for sure. Allow yourself to just feel that sense of freedom and let go of some of the burdens. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul, for sure. Get a little more in your heart and space and out of your head space. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Absolutely. And for those of you that are single, that could be an indication that somebody out of the blue shows up in your experience. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Always good advice. Okay. Let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle for you. All right. So between worlds, I think that's a perfect card for you. I haven't seen it in a while. It's like you're coming out of this place of feeling a little bit dark, a little bit held back. Threes could be significant. They could be showing up or your birthday could be the third. But you're coming out of that space, same as this Ten of Wands. You're right there. You're right in between that tough experience and moving into the light. Same with the Two of Wands, the light at the end of the tunnel. And then we have the Yin energy. So this is feminine energy. For some of you, you may need to drop more into your feminine energy over this month. I don't care what gender you are. Um, two is significant. It's partnerships. It can be a lot of things. To me, it's very much about balancing your energy in general. You could be born on the second. And then we have exchanging gifts. There could be an animal in your life that brings a lot of security and safety, but it's making sure that there's as much um, exchange of energy, one with the other, meaning that you're getting in return what you give to others because that's the gift is to support each other is to be there for each other as balanced as you possibly can you could be 27 born on the second the seventh or the ninth and then we have the thinker now, to me this is saying get out of your head to be honest because at times we can overthink things and it really does drag us down now 44 is a really important number because fours represent money to me as a reader that could be that things are starting to shift and all that thinking you've been doing it's going to start paying off 
So you could be 44, born on the 4th or the 8th of the month. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you again so much for being here. Please hit that like button on the way out. And if you would like a personal reading, the information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing month. Good luck to you. And I will see you in the next one.